uh, and we've got some fog in the area. Dense fog advisory has actually been issued for some of our southern counties. 63 degrees the current temperature in Tuscaloosa, so pretty muggy out there, and uh, and that'll be the case through the day today. You'll notice Tuscaloosa and Pickens County, Chilton and Bibb County, Scusa County, all under that dense fog advisory this morning with some spots seeing visibility uh, down perhaps below a mile in some of those southern areas. WBTM 13 Live Doppler, the only live radar on television, will be a very important tool for us later on this afternoon as we are tracking severe thunderstorms. And as the sweep comes around, it'll be giving us live updates of those uh, storm structures, uh, which is very important, obviously telling us how far they are moving. So it is live. Now this morning, we don't have a lot of coverage and we're not expecting any severe weather during the morning hours. We do have some showers up here into northwest Alabama, kind of up in Marion County. Uh, we may get a little thunder and lightning too to head toward Detroit or Hamilton, but coverage will be lit pretty limited through the morning hours. Once we head into this afternoon, I do think the sun will come out. I think winds will be gusty. I think it'll be a nice spring day for many uh, hours today before we'll start to see conditions really start to become favorable uh, for some severe storms, perhaps starting as early as two, three o'clock. If we can get some storms to develop, they could go severe between two and four o'clock this afternoon. And then once we head into tonight, we'll likely have a, a broken line of severe thunderstorms moving from northwest to southeast. Central Alabama, everybody in central Alabama has the threat to see severe storms in your area today, which could be life threatening. Try not to get too caught up in where the slight risk starts and where it ends and where the enhanced risk is. Everybody here in central Alabama in our area is under a risk to see severe thunderstorms today. That means a few tornadoes will be possible. There could also be an isolated strong tornado and very large hail too, perhaps in excess of two inches in diameter. So again, to kind of recap, severe storms likely starting between two and three o'clock this afternoon. I think that would be the earliest, maybe lasting up until about midnight tonight. Very large hail and the potential for a few tornadoes as well. Once we get through today, we cool off and smooth sailing through the end of the week with temperatures back into the 60s for highs. Eunice. Thanks, Steph. Right now, 65 southbound is